done. We're 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 done. It is I. Unseen strike fish. I need you to relax. Okay, we're gonna be a little loud tonight. All right. I need you to put put a pin in that. Anyway, it is I, Unseen Strike. Welcome back. Hope everybody's doing well this fine day or evening or however, whenever you're watching. Uh, we're going to pop right into this game now. One, two, three, bing, bang, boom. Here we go. Oh, man, on Morales. I, I think this is the first time we're seeing this game. Uh, or this map. Excuse my French. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I'm going to pause it real quick. We're just going to talk about this map. I do love this map. Uh, I will throw this map into community game rotations quite a bit. Every base has four uh, capture points, a relic, and in the middle is one critical location. These bases vary, but they're quite large. Don't let the size deceive you. You do a lot of Eldar trickery. Um, you can put a whole bunch of buildings, multiple HQs, the whole nine. Uh, each base does only have the one way out, so you will see a lot of large battles. Um, generally, if player one player pushes another, they can kind of be dog piled on from behind. I like a lot of free for alls on this map. Um, not so much the team games. So the replay just took, had a seizure there. So what do we got? We got on the the northern rim. We got guard. This nice sexy red here. Good for them. We have some some white space marines. Looks like they were fighting orcs. They took a lot of orc trophies. We have some elves here. What are they going? I see double guardians. Maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see rangers and banshees. Let's hope. We have some ultramarines led by Robo Girly Man. We have Tau in this putrid, disgusting yellow. Oh lord. And then we have uh, blue blood blood angels. Now, one thing to note with this map, because there's four LPs in base. The early game is delayed a hair. And what I mean by that is you're now spending, instead of the normal 300 requisition, you're spending four. So, uh, again, that's average. Some races it's more, some races it's left. But you're spending a little bit more money on your eco early, and then five if you count the relic. So you're spending a lot of money up front from your initial 1,000 rec, but the game then ramps up quickly because you've got extra uh, rec flowing in so quickly. What's going on with this power generator at the front? This is not Supreme Commander. Your, your buildings do not get generator increases. Hide this bad boy. You only got one front door. Guard have a nice advantage on this map. You garrison this bunker. You can get some shots over here. Anyway, I was reading the comments. Somebody was mentioning, uh, I don't know your name, good sir, or madam. Uh, you mentioned I needed something for a microphone. That's way above my pay grade. Uh, find me in the Discord. The link is down below the video. I see Vespids. Here we go. Going for Robo Girly Man. We got a Force Commander out. Uh, find me in the Discord. Add me. Let me know what that means. Uh, I have an AT200, 2000. Okay, we have Rangers. Are we going to see Banshees? Uh, it's Dark Reapers, of course. Uh, Force Commander's trading with these Rangers. They need to flee. Bolts are finding their mark. He's, he's literally holding on with some leaves, these wood elves. What's going on with the north here? We've got scouts. Power uh, plasma pistol already done. So we have one force commander. And this is what I was talking about. So this the, they're trying to push into these wood elves. But there's a command squad here now. Why is the replay choking? Anyway, we have commander big balls here. We have a force commander. Uh, double force commander versus one, though. you got to be careful. Plasma pistol's out, and then the rangers can break morale here. Command squad gets gonna give this nice smite off. He does not, he does not proc properly. New all back in the mid vestments, still looking to do damage. Still suits cloak back up. Oh no! Don't tell me he gets this. The scout squad. This is gonna be costly. Is he gonna get both scout squads? Down goes one. They're trying to the stealth suit, but the vestments are very scary. Meanwhile, back across the board, he got the no. Come back. He picked up a thunder hammer and down he went. Down goes another. Oh man, they're both gonna be in the apothecary together. They'll hold hands maybe. Dark Reapers trying to kite, but there's a force commander swinging a power sword at them. They're trying to wipe these scouts out. Scout snipers, Bolter goes down. Multiple sniper teams are now deploying. Guards in the middle, they don't know where they're gonna go either. This force commander's gotta be really careful. Get that fleet of foot off. Get that nice max range damage. Snipers are, are now becoming a threat. We need to see Ranger cloaking. Losing a Dark Reaper squad. Not good. Tree Elves, what are you doing here? He's not getting the cloaking ability. 
Uh, you need to get that. It's such a critical ability. I'd love to see a turret here. He knows these vestments are lurking. I hear the snipers. Down goes two guardians. Oh, man. And this generator is going to go down. This is going to be such nice value from this Tau player. He killed some scouts. He flew them all the way back around. He's killing a generator, really slowing the elves down. This is what you want to see. Now like, he's pulling this whole army back. Scout's now rolling in. Force Commander dueling where he wants to duel in the heavy cover in the mid. Rangers are getting shots, but it looks like they're shooting at the Skull Probe. Stealth Suit's also just being a menace. Down goes one. Their pants are currently off. Let's go check back on the guard. What's happening? It looks quiet over here. Tacking up to Tier 2. He's preserving his guard in the building. This is smart. There's nothing really for them to do right now. I feel like this Space Marine player is quiet. What's he doing? Is he tacking? He's tacking. What about you? What are you doing? Also tacking. Timing almost identical. Uh, but the South team's army is, is looking very scary. All these snipers and vestments. What's the Tau doing? We didn't check. Already getting their vehicle bacon up. Very quick tech by Tau. And look at that. Oh, he went snipers as well, this other space frame player. All right, so a whole bunch of snipers and not a whole lot of cloaking. And look at this. It's now forcing the Eldar player to sit in base. He did get a support platform, but the damage is already done. His eco is going to be super slow now, down to only one generator. And none of these LPs are upgraded. What? Oh, Vespids are here. Vespids are going to try and take an LP off this guard player. He micros and juggles his squad into the HQ. Oh, is he going to lose this? This Magos is going beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, zero, one, zero. He's not having it. Oh, my Lord. It's going to be so close. Look at this. Oh, morale broken. Clutch save. Look at this guy, hero of the Mechanicum. Praise be the Omni Sire. Good for you, buddy. Saves it, lights on fire, and he, he puts the fire out. Guard now attacking up to tier two. Mechanicum Depot drops. And they're going to give this guy a Forge World for that. I mean, maybe we're overhyping him a little bit, but he did a damn good job. Nice juggle timing. Uh, this is important to save. Looks like he's attacking it up to tier two. I hear Barracudas. Where are they? Here it is. Oh, no, no. He just saved this. No. He was going to get a forge. Oh, no, no, no. He was going to get a forge world for this. Down he goes. Vespid somehow came back. I'm not sure if they remember the lesson they were just taught. Back they go. And this Barracuda has been uh, cursed the machine spirit. So it's CC'd for a few moments. Please, LP, stay alive. We had so much hope riding on you. He rebuilt that, that priest. But he's not anywhere close. I hear a second Barracuda. Oh, Tau disgusts me. And Heavy Bolt Deter coming down a little late for this. Force Commander also coming in. Not sure what he's going to do. I don't know if that was canceled. Meanwhile, back in the middle, scout teams are now pushing in. So they're sensing blood in the water. Heavy Weapons team up. This will do real nice. It's still a little close to the front line. And these scout snipers, they they, they see it. They don't, they don't like that. They don't like that at all. Look at how much damage they do. Oh, man. This heavy weapon team is super expensive, by the way. Dies just like that. Sentinel comes out. Looks like they shot at the heavy weapons team for how disgusted they were. What's going on? Mechanicum, get away from me. Sentinel? Oof. Damn. The Emperor was not with them that day. And what's this Wood Elf army doing? They're just sitting here. Get your booties out here. Get on this flank. Help your teammate out. Double Sentinel now. Very strong base. He did upgrade the LPs in the back line. So he's still getting proper eco. What's our Space Marine in the north doing? We've got the Triple Wombo Combo, Librarian, Force Commander, Chaplain. They're all going to hold hands together and skip. Chaplain says some bad words. He yelled at the Force Commander. No toilet bowl. Uh, there goes a smite, and it didn't even kill any scouts. That, that librarian's weak. Weak. There's a toilet bowl from the, uh, the identical Grey Knight Chaplain hug box. And now they're stuck there, slowed in the toilet bowl. Toilet bowl model gets sniped. I don't think it casts. Sad to see. Dark Reapers, for some reason, running face first into the sniper lines. is not what you want to see. Tax Squad coming out with missiles to shoot at infantry. And this is just a disaster. Look at this. Why are you here? You're hurting my cornea. I heard a, uh, an artillery platform coming up. Barracudas are back. Double Sentinels. This is the problem. Barracudas are pretty good versus one Sentinel. You need two, and you need to pick your target. The DPS is being shared. But Basilisk now firing. Heroic, sexy Chad Artillery Company. Where did the shells start landing? 
Where are you landing? Unknown. Vespids go down. Missile turret gonna be a pain in the arse here. I'm gonna start taking some LPs out. What is the Wood Elf player doing? Oh, of course. Okay, our first tree's here. And where or what does he follow it up with? A webway gate. So he wants another tree at some point. So the mid's being held. Sexy Chad Basilisk Artillery Company's putting some shells down. Uh, somebody's asking for help. Uh, I'm not sure what this push is. Where are you going? Oh, they can pick these scouts off. This would be a nice pick. Pathfinder's going to be a beautiful mark target. Beautiful. Two Grey Knights die immediately. Now, trivia question here. What happens when two different Grey Knight factions fight each other? Do they all mind wipe the civilian populace at the end? What happens? I think I just saw a smite. That was beautiful. Basilisk's putting a number in. Doing a really nice job. They're now re-counter pushing. I can't believe this Toilet Bowl squad lived. Speaking of Toilet Bowl, Toilet Bowl came down at a smite as well. And they're just kind of trying to skate away here. Basilisk missed. That would have been a beautiful shot to land there. Big Balls Command Squad's coming. He's repositioning his weapons team. Sit them down. And they instantly die. Why would you move? Dark Reaper's getting some beautiful shots on the back line here on this Grey Knight squad. Oh! Gorgeous Basilisk shell there. Absolutely fantastic. Second toilet bowl coming in now. God, Mr. Clean needs to sponsor this channel for the amount of toilets we gotta deal with today. Another heavy weapon scene. These are very expensive. Slowing it down. Get your Tower System Lehman Russ out. You know, even get a dead. Get the last cannon upgrade. Finish these Barracudas off. Clear your skies. He took down one LP. This is nice. Now we can see another nice running battle now. Double trees, double bright lances. There's no enemy vehicles except the Barracudas. Scout snipers ripping through these Dark Reapers. And at this point, I'd love to see a Falcon. I don't know why we skipped the Falcon if you're going to go for those Dark Reapers. Force Commander getting in there with the hammer. And he's going to rip this tree down. He's a big, sweaty lumberjack today. Down it goes. I'm hearing more Eldar. Ugh. And the Basilisk has got to back up a little bit. Maybe we'll give this Tech Priest a Forge World. Maybe. Maybe he's taking some bolts. Point blank shelling. Kills all these weak Tau Tau in Tier 3 with the Ethereal. Would they go? They went for the Floating Chair. Tech Marine's coming. Chaplain yelled at the Priest, but the Priest said no, not today. The priest don't care what the bull school bully thinks. He also looks like he got yelled at, and the Space Marines are getting pushed back. What's happening in the back line? Anything good here? No TAC Marines. I'd like to see some vehicles to kind of help. There's not much AV, and these scout snipers are ripping through infantry. Uh, okay, Orbital Beacon. What about back here? An Orbital Beacon for them as well. No Orbital Beacon for them yet from the, uh, the Gurley men. And our poor guard player being hounded back into a corner here, but he's got the artillery to deal with this. This is the correct answer. It seems like a weird one, but that's a nice answer. He's got his caster now. Let's get a priest on them, and we can start pushing through this a little bit. And again, the tree with the anti brightlands vehicle is cool, but there's no no infantry. Beautiful grenade by the caster uh, he just needs to get them out of the field of fire now. The Grey Knight's charging right in. Orbital Bombardment coming down on this Basilisk Company. And we've got our first drop here. What is this? Is this... Is this... Oh, boy. Our first Terminator squad here. But thankfully, the Caster are in the back line. They're getting beautiful back shots. Right into the rear armor. Grey Knight's here. Also trying to fight this heroic Chad Artillery Company. And look at this. There's no way. There's no way. Even the chaplain, the chaplain was told this has to die. No way. Kaskin juggled out over here. Beautiful micro by the guard. <laughs> oh my god, it lived! Some beautiful saves by this guard player. Terminator's fighting an LP here. Where are the Kaskin? Kaskin are coming back. No, no, don't melee them. Flee! And look at the damage these Terminators are taking just by standing in the guard base. He keeps messing with their targeting. They don't know what's going on. Some some puny beta male Tau trying their best. What's happening here? Dreadnoughts dropping in base. I don't know what happened to them. What's going on? We have assault terminators here. They need to kill these marines. And the dreadnoughts need to figure out what they're doing. 
I don't know why they stopped there. I don't see any CCs. Oh, jeez. Hammerhead gunships out now. Terminator's waddling away very low. And this Basilisk lived. I'm so impressed. Meanwhile, Landspeeder Tempest's coming out. They're going to firebomb this forest. Uh, Full-scale war done for the guard player. Maybe we'll see Lehman Ross's another orbital bombardment on the, the Wood Elf Center of Peace and Love. We see Warp Spiders. I generally don't agree with Warp Spiders. Um... And what is what's what was the objective here? So he came in here, he dropped multiple dreadnoughts down into tax squads armed with all missile launchers, and only took a couple generators out. This is never worth it. Orbital relay target number one. Okay, LPs are target number two, and then these terminators are target number three. Uh, Could have ripped through all that infantry. Guard player huddling in the back for dear life against all these hammerheads. Uh, unfortunately, one one of these is cloned. I want to say it's this one. Warp Spiders doing their best, and it's not enough, unfortunately. These Scout Snipers ripping their morale down. Landspeeder Tempests opening up. Let's see, do we get another Toilet Bowl? One last hurrah on this Toilet Bowl Brigade. There's a Toilet Bowl here. Meanwhile, Terminator's here decapping. Why? Why, Why are you decapping, my friends? GG, who's GGing out? Who? Who? Who GG? Who did that? Who GG? Who just got kicked? Who? 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 Who was it? Another Terminator again dropped, or another Dreadnought dropped into all of this. This is not what you want. Again, get a Lehman Russ out, um, or a Predator Battle Tank. Tree Elves Peace and Love Sanctuary now in danger. I don't see anything being built from the, the elves. Oh man. Gunship line coming in. Who died? Wood elves go down first. Not surprising. Uh, Tau basically unharmed. Getting on their HQ. Get that eco pumping. Scouts recapping this here. And they're getting their eco back up. Tau gun line finally found this Imperial Guard Bastion. Down they go. You know, imagine you wake up, you know, double shift last night. I couldn't even I couldn't even roleplay. Already gone. And now we just have a Space Marine last stand. Love it. Heroic. This is what they write about in the novels. Terminator's coming in here. Gonna hold out. It's defensive over bombardment. Love to see a nice cinematic fight here. Terminator on Terminator melee. Word of the Emperor popped. None of these Terminators can die. Offensive orbital or bombardment coming in. Multiple lances coming down from the heavens. Other team popping word of the Emperor. All these Terminators are invincible right now. Toilet Bowl comes down right on this beautiful melee. Really nice special attack from the Librarian on the four Staff. More drop pods coming in potentially. Another drop pod down. What do we got? Another Dreadnought. Unfortunately, the Tower are going to make very short work, especially with these Land Speeder Tempests. Nice running melee fight here. Force Commander swinging this hammer for dear life. I believe this is the Gray Force Commander. And this Chaplain is doing a fantastic job cleaning them up. He polished this mace just for this occasion. Look, he's literally just looking. Fight me if you dare. Where is he going? Looks like they're going to teleport. Where do they teleport to is going to be the question. They teleport further back into this corner. There's more assault terminators ready, though. And this chaplain, unfortunately, is on range terminators. The power fists do damage, but is it enough? Chaplain kills a terminator, swings that massive mace he has. And he's actually doing really well. For what he actually had to just fight there. And you see that? Do you see that, ladies and gentlemen? That was a beautiful, honorable last stand. Okay? Obviously, this is real scary, but we got to see some Terminators duking it out at the end there. Uh, none of this leaving early. Okay? Like those pitiful wood elves. All right? I don't know what they thought to achieve there. Um, again, like I said in my last video, we're going to turn a new leaf. All right? New year, new leaf. Uh, I would have liked to have seen Ranger cloaking from this Eldar player. Uh, I think that would have solved a whole bunch of, of his issues or her issues, their issues. Um, 
losing those gens early is crippling. Maybe get a turret here. You know you're facing Tau. Something's coming in your base. Especially on this map, these, these jump walls are thin. If not a Vespid squad, Assault Marines with double Space Marines, there's always a chance. Uh, cloaked Rangers would have done the job. That that one upgrade, even if the Cloaked Rangers sat here, they would have covered these gens, broke the morale on the Flyers. Um, for our Space Marine player here, I would really like to have seen a more fleshed out Tier 2. With some vehicles instead of rushing tier 3. What did that rush into tier 3 get him? So he gets his orbital relay. Gets his terminator squads. And then he gets his, this this weird drop. And uh, it, it didn't really do much. Again, I, he didn't even know what the enemy army looked like. I mean, it was all missile launchers into a you know, dreadnought spam. You know, he could have used those forces to help his teammate. Again, maybe get a couple of... Again, tech into predators maybe. Uh, or even something to drop down and help protect his teammates base or even oh oh geez oh man look at this xv8 battle suits ready to go i do wish like in dawn of war 2 if the tau force uh, tau commander could get a battle suit upgrade like this uh, i know his final upgrade the pulse rifle it's cool and scary but it just doesn't have that same impact like dawn of war 2 you put your force commander terminator army that man is scary 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 man um, really nice play. The South team gambled heavily on the early game. Those scout snipers paid off. They did wonders. Look at all the Dark Reapers dead in here. All the Warlocks, all the Guardians, all these Warp Spiders. I mean, they didn't die to the, uh, snipers. Or maybe they did. They, they just very possible. Uh, they did really well while the Tau player teched hard. Tau was the middle player. He had every right to tech. Normally, I get mad when I see people teching like donkeys. In this case, he was the middle player. On this side, the Eldar player was trying to fast tech, and you can't do that on the on the flanker position. Uh, and again, he did fast tech. I just don't agree with his choice at the end. Uh, anyway, good game. Nice to see Morales. We, you know, first time. I'm pretty sure that's the first time on this channel. Uh, be warned if you ever join that map when I'm streaming or in my lobbies. Make sure you check the game settings. I like to do assassination. I like to do uh, capture. The critical location. <sighs> Free for all stuff like that. Anyway, I'm out of here. Unseen strike. See you next time.